The question submitted to the website today is what is the limit of square root of x divided by sine of x as x goes to 0 from the right? Now to be complete I'm also going to do the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the square roots of x over sine of x just to be sure that there wasn't any errors in communication. But we'll start with number one first. Again recall as you're getting close to 0 sine of x is approximately equal to x. This is an important approximation to remember. It comes up very often, but I need to point out again, write it down here, for x approximately equal to 0. You want to do right around x equals 0. This approximation is very good. As you get further away from x equals 0, it's not. And to show why that is, Here's the line y equals x, about, and here is your sine of x wave. When you're about the origin, they're very close to the same. So we're going to use that approximation for both problems here. Change my color. Using this, we rewrite it as the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of the square root of x over x which I'm going to rewrite as x to the one-half power divided by x to the one power. Now dividing out, excuse me, dividing out your exponents is the same as subtracting them. So you have x to the one-half minus one. So this will give you the limit as x approaches zero from the positive side of one x to the negative half which is 1 over the square root of x. If you put a 0 in for the denominator, that goes to infinity. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side goes to positive infinity. Now we'll do the other problem, and I actually have these graphs so I can show it to you this time. So this limits the limit of the square root of x divided by sine of x is equivalent to the limit of the square root of x over x using our approximation, which equals the limit as x approaches 0. Divide that through, which becomes square root of 1, which is 1. So the limit as x approaches 0 of the square root of x divided by sine of x equals 1. Now I'm going to bring up the graphs to show this to you guys. Here's the first problem of the square root of x divided by sine of x, and it's this bolder line here. Notice as you get close to 0, it goes to positive infinity. Here's the second problem I did. It approaches 1 as you get close to 0. So that's the limits submitted to the website today. Please send us more. We love doing them.